Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about Coinbase and did Coinbase just kill the bank CD and the savings account with the mighty DC. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to your favorite channel on YouTube. Like the video and share it with a friend. Now I want to get to the agenda. This is going to be a more in-depth report. First, let's cover the big news on Coinbase. Coinbase, this is from Coindesk. Coinbase debuts savings product with a 4% APR, APY annual percentage yield on USDC deposits. This is an article here by Nate D. Camillo. He's talking about Coinbase rolling out a crypto savings account that lets you earn 4% annual percentage yield by lending out your USDC. Now, this account is not FDIC or SIPC insured and it functions much like other products at crypto lenders and other exchanges that regularly offer yields around 8%. And he's talking about Coinbase offering a lower yield because it doesn't lend to unidentified third parties. So Coinbase is offering a higher yield than your bank but lower than you can find in some other places on the internet. So what I want to do really quick, let me go back to the agenda. Let's go to the official announcement from Coinbase on Twitter. We saw the article, but let's go to Twitter because nothing's real unless it's a tweet. We just lost that tweet. Let's find it again. There's Coinbase. And here's their tweet. This is at Coinbase News. They're talking about their, they're showing off their fancy graphic. And they're talking about USD coin is safe and secure, stable coin. And it's backed by the US dollar. So it's talking about 4%. Now, and they're saying that's pretty great if they say so themselves. Let's now let's take a look at that. What I want to do real quick is just do a comparative analysis on what you could expect from a bank when you're talking about giving the bank money and getting money back. Now, normally you would do that in two ways. One, is a savings account which we know pays the lowest interest in the world and the other one is a CD or a certificate of deposit so let's let's we're gonna just compare the CD since we know it pays the most from banks okay a couple things they have right away is I'm here at Wells Fargo alright so they're one of the big banks and so their rules right away, they require you to put in $2,500, all right? So let's check out their rates that you got to put in $2,500, all right? Now look here, for three months, if you leave Wells Fargo your money, you can't touch it for three months. It says their interest rate is 0.01, so not even one-tenth of a percent, so it's 100 of a percent so you're not even getting a tenth of a percent on your return if you give them your money for three months let's go down and see if they do better if you give them their money for six months six months same rate what's going on over there Wells Fargo well maybe one year is the key so here they are one year standard CD rates you see it on your screen they're paying an annual percentage yield of 0.01%. So let's do some math on that. That's 0.01%. Okay. 
So let's jump over to our trusty calculator and figure out how much money you're going to make. If you put in $2,500 and you get 0.01%, that leaves you with 25 cents. That's what you would make on one year interest if you left your money with Wells Fargo. Does that sound enticing to you? Now let's compare that to what you're going to get with Coinbase. They're saying 4%. So bam, that's 100 bucks. So that's a big difference, don't you think? How would your future plans change if every time you expected to make 100 you instead had 25 cents. That is what brought up the title for this video. Did Coinbase just kill the bank CD and the savings account with the mighty USDC? I don't see how banks can respond to this. Um, they're so far away from even offering 1%. I mean, they're not even offering 1%. They're not even offering a quarter of a percent or an eighth of a percent or a tenth of a percent. They're down to one hundredth of a percent. That basically gives me the impression that they're probably about to pull the plug on their entire certificate of deposit or savings account um, in terms of it being a product that pays you. So that is my take on that. Now let's do a quick demo of the Coinbase. Let's take a look. Let's jump over to Coinbase. We're going to do a quick demo. When you log into Coinbase, you're going to be greeted by the wizard. You can click the button about, you'll see the offer in your Coinbase account to earn 4% with USD coin. So let's just take a look at it and see how it works. It says you can lend your crypto to earn 4%. Your principal is guaranteed. The crypto you lend is guaranteed by Coinbase, giving you a safe, secure way to earn interest. You can send and sell just like usual. So it says you can continue to send and sell your crypto without any delay and with no fees. So that sounds pretty good. So sign up now. Boom. It says that I'm all set and they'll notify me as soon as I start earning. Okay, that was pretty easy. Think about the process of what it takes to get your account set up at a bank. You can imagine it's going to be a lot of forms, probably got to take a half day off your job just to get going. Now, I just demonstrated that for you real time. It took me about three seconds and I would bet the only thing I got to do next is just uh, wait for the approval and then start transferring money in and counting my money. All right. I love to hear what you have to think about this. I'm sure you would much rather have $100 for every $2,500 you have in your account and not what we saw with we not 25 cents that's just embarrassing post your comments thank you for checking out this video make sure you like this video and share it with your with your certificate of deposit conservative investing friends and tell them there is a new sheriff in town that they should consider. USDC on Coinbase. Get 4%. Until next time. Peace.